Okay, I'm looking at the Studio Moises.ai web application here, and I'm going to try it for free, the pro version. Okay, now the part I'm looking forward to, I have a batch of songs I need to send to a sync licensing agency today. I need to transcribe lyrics for all the songs. It says drop them here or browse. So I'm going to browse to my masters. Oh, it looks like it only wants one file at a time, so I'm going to start with the first one. You're creating the separation you want from this song. So I could choose a vocal track. I could ask it to try to find if the strings, if there's in there, keys, drums as the track, that kind of thing. But I'm not going to do that right now because I just want the vocals. Okay, right now I'm experimenting. I'm signed in from three different web browsers, one on this Windows machine, and I'm uploading a track. And then on my Mac, I have two different web browsers. So that means I have three tracks uploading at once. We're going to see how this goes. The results are in. All three tracks uploaded. I just opened up Lighthouse Keeper's Fantasy. It made three tracks, a vocal track, an instrument track, and a metronome track. So I can play just the instrument track. Or uh, the vocal track. Red sky is morning. Say okay. It. And to get lyrics, you just click this lyrics button. It knows how to find the track in your session that has vocals and it turns it into lyrics. If you find a mistake, you go to this edit button here. It shows you every word in your lyrics down this column aligned with a waveform. There's a lot you can probably do with this and I don't know how to use it yet, but I know that you can click on a word and edit it right here. And then hit save. And if you want to get back to your audio view, this is a little peculiar, but you have to click on the lyrics button again. That's what toggles between your views. Now, how do you get your lyrics out of here? Select them, copy them. I'm going to put them in a Google Doc. Now, here's something that I'm not wild about, but when you paste them into your Google Doc, all the nice spacing is gone between stanzas and sections. So you have to go in and manually add them like this. Now this is on Windows and I noticed something different happens when you're on a Mac. When you paste in the text, it is going to be white. So you'll have to go up here and change the text color. Good luck. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you would like to correct my pronunciation of moises.ai, please leave a comment.